solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Firstly, what is a quadratic equation? A quadratic equation is an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a, b and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero. Now, to solve a quadratic equation, we're looking for the values of x which make this equation true, which makes the left-hand side equal to zero, for which there'll be at most two solutions. And one way to find these solutions is to use the quadratic formula, which is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, if you're interested in where this formula comes from, check out my video on deriving the quadratic formula. So using the quadratic formula, we're gonna have a go at solving this equation. So three x squared plus seven x plus two equals zero. Remember, we're looking for the values of x which will make this equation true. Here's the quadratic formula. And looking at our equation, we can see that a is equal to three, b is equal to seven, and c is equal to two. So taking our formula, putting in our values of a, b and c, we get that x is equal to minus seven plus or minus square root of seven squared minus four times three times two, all over two times three. So our numbers underneath the square roots become 49 minus 24, which is 25. Square rooting the 25 gives us five so x is equal to minus seven plus or minus five all over six. Remember that plus or minus is coming because we're doing a square root and a square root has both positive and negative answers. Now working out the answers to this, if we do minus seven minus five divided by six, we get negative two. And if we do minus seven plus five divided by six, we get negative a third. These are the two values of x that will make the left-hand side of our original equation equal to zero. And we can use our formula to solve this one as well. So x squared minus four x plus five equals zero. So we've got our quadratic formula. We can see that a is equal to one because we just have x squared. b is equal to negative four and c is equal to five. So substituting those values in gives us this. Simplifying under the square root gives us four plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 20 all over two. 16 minus 20 is negative four. So we've got four plus or minus the square root of negative four all over two. Now, if we square root a negative, we end up with an imaginary number. So we get four plus or minus two i all over two, dividing by the two gives us x equals two minus i, or two plus i. So this equation doesn't have any real solutions, but it does have two complex solutions, which we've just found. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel, or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.